everybody. I am going to do a quickie on mixing paints. So let me try and get closer. Actually, let me just move you right over it. Oh, that's not, that's worse. <laughs> there we go. So for this, I'm just going to use um, Grumbacher uh, Cadmium Orange. Oops. And just know that um, regardless of my white paint or any of my colors or anything, I mix them all the same. But every time I mix them, they're different. Uh, I don't follow a recipe or measure or do anything. So I'm pretty much winging it every single time. So you will figure out what is best for you. Um, too thin for my colors, the, my, the thickness of my white is more important um, than the colors, but too thin on the colors is not good. But the white, if I'm doing, let's see how much, I could probably just do this. Raise all that up. If I am doing a flip and drag, I want my white to be a little thinner um, than if I were doing um, uh, like, well, pretty much anything else. Flip and drags, I want the thinnest. Um, a mallet, using the mallet or pretty much any of those it doesn't matter too much but I still keep my paint on the thinner side than most do um, adding Floetrol so here you can see um, I don't know just a blob of paint in there so I just just gonna add some you know I guess it's Pretty much covers it, but you may not learn much in this tutorial because um, because I'm not giving you any measurements or anything. So I guess what I want you to get out of this is um, that you have to practice a lot and you have to have you have to mix it different ways to see what you like better. Do you like working with the paint when it's thicker? This is just water. Do you like working with it when it's thicker or do you like it on the runnier side like I do? Um, thicker paint will the cells, thicker paint things stay more, which you know is pretty much common sense I would guess because you know you think thinner and it runs easier which is why it's easier for a flip and drag. Um, but you'll figure out what you like. And there are tons of exact measurements. See, now this is, this is too thick. That's way too thick. But there are tons of exact measurements that people have. Um, so there's other, um, YouTubers that have good luck, or not luck, it's not luck have good results with recipes that they have come up with. And I only use Floetrol and water. I have played around with, see that's still too thick. I've played around with pouring medium, Liquitex pouring medium, and I don't like it. Uh, I just feel I'm not able to manipulate the paint how I want. I don't use glue. Um, I think I tried that once. So, this is almost, hang on, I gotta get closer to me. All right, and I can kind of fit, if I lift this from the bottom and put it through, I can feel how thick it is, like what the resistance is, and I can see it needs a touch more water. So this is where you just gotta play with it and figure it out. But I wanted to do this real short video Basically, if you're having worries 
um, to help you build the confidence to just go with it and figure it out by just playing with it because you can always paint over. So there we go. It's pretty thin. Um, so that's it. I just wanted, you know, this may not be the most helpful of videos, but hey, you get to spend uh, five minutes and 27 seconds with me. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.